Hello friends and family, welcome back. Um, I know it's been a little minute since we hung out. Honestly, I just needed some time to reset, recenter. That will not be the last time that happens. And I urge you to do the same thing. Like I know we try to stay consistent on our social media platforms, on YouTube and all that. How can you pour life into other people if you don't pour life into yourself first? That's all I'm saying. Not just first, but always, like you always have to take some time for you. And it's okay if you don't have this long, elaborate explanation for people. I'm done rambling. I'm honestly so sick right now. I've been fighting a cold. I got the flu last month and I feel like ever since I got that, it's just been rough. The immune system is over me, I guess. It's just a cold this time and we're gonna make it through. Good thing you can't catch this through the phone. I had some messages come to mind. And I feel like you should hear them. I feel like we should talk about it. It's gonna be a good day. Why do you do that? First, wow. I'm gonna go take care of that today. So yesterday I rearranged my living room area. It just feels better. The energy feels like it flows better, We're open. I left um, the space open where this big window is. <laughs> So it wasn't right if I didn't get some new plant babies and I went and got this beauty yesterday. This new snake plants. They're gorgeous and I know they're gonna thrive in the sunshine. This one that I got yesterday, they repotted it for me. So I got to thinking about repotting plants and then my brain just started turning about our own lives. I just wanted to chat about that a little bit. I'm no expert. I'm pretty sure I killed a cactus once. That was like years ago, doing better. I've managed to keep a couple plants alive. Growing up, okay. Um, it's just interesting how much I personally have been learning just from taking care of houseplants, how much we can learn from nature if we just tap in. So let me share my thoughts with you. So with houseplants, once they start looking like they're getting too large for their current container situation, um, you transplant them into a larger container very carefully and not often if you You know keep a plant in a small container and it's outgrowing it eventually like the roots will be Root bound. I think that's what you call it. It's just gonna run out of space to grow and it's eventually gonna die Okay, we're following each other, right? We're not taking the plant and Moving it to another location like in another room or something. No this room is just fine it's getting sufficient sunlight it was thriving the plant basically just didn't have any more room for growth so i just started thinking about life my life our lives for example me specifically i have moved a lot i've had no problem just packing up my car and figuring it out and honestly part of me might have been running from me instead of repotting into a bigger space i picked up my plant and i kept moving it to different locations i think it's very important to recognize when it's time to just simply repot your plant into a bigger space to allow room for more growth the difference between that and actually having to move your plant to a different location um i've been in kansas city for about a year and a half now, I wanna say. And I started getting this itch like, man, it's time to move, it's time to go. This has been cool, but I don't have to go right now. I don't have to just leave the situation. I have to repot my plants. I can still be in the same city in the same location. Basically, what I'm trying to say is there comes a time when you just have to look around and realize that, you know, the people that you've been surrounding yourself with, the situations and experiences, they worked in this pot, but now it's becoming too full and it's time to expand. There is nothing wrong with the location you're in. Light you're receiving here is sufficient. You really thrived in this first pot that you were planted in. Now it's just becoming too full and your growth is 
needing more. It needs more room. It needs more space to expand. So just repot yourself into something bigger. Fertilize that soil. So it's okay if it's time to replant yourself into a bigger container. Take the experiences that you learned in the old one. Take the good from it and bring it with you. Leave the bad there. Fertilize your soil. Cultivate your soil with the growth that you want to see. Surround yourself with the energy and vibrations that you want to live in and just keep thriving. You have to start with you. Start with what you're planting yourself in and what you're expecting to grow from, which is your soil and the container that you're in. That's simple. Thank you, plant babies, for our lesson today. I'm gonna try to go to Home Depot or something and see if I can get a new pot. I was gonna replant these with you right now, but the one that they gave me doesn't have any drainage holes at the bottom. So I would be setting my plants up for failure. We're not about that life. I'm gonna go get it something that I can thrive in. I know our hangout session today was a little bit short. I hope that this message reaches you or whoever you are that needed to hear it. Take a second, realign, cleanse your space. And if you're feeling stuck, if you're feeling root bound, open up that space for more growth, more expansion. Make sure you don't fill up this new pot with things and people and choices that will stunt that growth. Okay. That's all I got, you guys. Go be great. I love you so, so much. I am sending you so much love and so much gratitude. I'm just sharing my thoughts and experiences along the way. I really honestly get things wrong 99% of the time. And so I figure if I can share my stories and experiences from those situations, maybe they'll help someone out there make the right choice. I'm done. I'm out. I love you. We'll talk soon. Thank you.